have seen too many allies die to lose another. The piercing light should be in the deepest vault of these ruins. Be careful. The Niskara will do anything to keep us from that spear. The piercing light awaits. The Niskaru took everything from me. My soldiers, my station, everything. All my life burned when they were the fields of battle. These Niskaru, they were not always in the war. It wasn't until the Witch Knight Malwin started making pacts with them that they fought alongside the Tuatha.
We're close now. I've heard that the spear is guarded by the Niskaru warrior Arthagal. We will learn if it still is. I see the spear. The Niskaru... this weapon and I never truly thought I would. I was not fated to have it. Not until you came. You have thrown back the veil of fate and revealed what is truly possible. It's... it's almost enough to make me believe in second chances. Yes, but it is so much more. This will end the siege of Mel Senshir. It will bring the death of the Baylor. It will give me my chance for redemption. And I never would have laid hands on it, if not for you. Kind words, but not true. My day will come when Baylor is dead at my feet. And I would be honored to have you beside me then, too. Meet me at Rathia, the city in the east. Together we will break the siege of Melsenshir and turn the Tuatha tide. To get to Melsenshir, we need to take a ship from Rathia, and that means convincing Elund Karth, the city's ruler. With the wards down, I think we can get out this way.
Oh, hello. Look how vast the sky is. So long. General's inspection, and not a stain anywhere, do you understand? Welcome. The locksmith pledge shield Fenin, you say? Stole my key, had it copied, handed it to the enemy. We must confront her at once. Hurry! Hurry! Seize her! Pledge shield Fenin's in the cells now. Go see if she'll talk. We've got to get to the bottom of this. Yes, yes indeed. The duty's yours. I think... She will tell us what she knows. They're taking recruits in Dallantarth. I'll confess. I'm ready. I know I can never make amends for the deaths I've caused. But I will try. I stole the key and had it copied. I gave it to... He swore he worked for the Arthar army, that this could end the war. I knew they were stealing powerful things from that vault, but he said the War Sworn were refusing to use them in the war against the Fae, so they... we could keep getting paid to fight. A man named Elvin Merok. I knew him from... that does not matter. He said he's a soldier in Tewilly, though we always met pretty far south of the barracks, near the way into the marsh. Uh, the winds on the plains can howl like a wolf. Given this turn of events, you are to find this Merok character. Extract from him what you can. I have other work for Gwyn. Meet her in Rathir when you're done. Or the army. Help with the war. My gods! Jeez, but they know they don't belong. Has anyone seen Candia lately? You know, I 
variety collection for our soldiers off in Cluricon. We must all... Oh, there's a dear. If you happen to be around there at any odd times, do keep an eye for that thief. Lyria only knows when they're doing it. I'm sure the priestess or White Nil would want to hear of it if you did find the scoundrel. A room in the inn? Why, you're in luck. I have one to spare. I think you'll find it lovely. A nicer spot to rest your weary bones, I can't imagine. Well, so long. What are you doing here? I'm just here for a midnight prayer. Ah, what's the use? You've caught me. Yes, I was stealing from the till. It's not as if those doomed sods off in Chloricon need this gold. Not half as much as where I'm putting it. Not in to drink, if that's what you're thinking. I, uh... There's some wretches off in Forsaken Plain. They don't know it's me. Nobody does. Well, I leave gold for them when I can, down by Snowmelt. Bloody least I can do. No? Well, it's good to see someone who's got a heart for a change. If I was stealing for drink, they might give me a scolding. If they knew it was for Forsaken Plains refugees, they'd toss me in jail. There's Tyrion's rest for you. Goodbye, then. North he came, sword alight with frosted blood, to starkly carve a kingdom from a land of stone and flood. A hero true, a warrior born, his deeds the bards did daily sing. Exultingly, they crowned him king. the thrice-crowned king, the bandon prince of Melaglir. He forged from blood a sword of sin to cut and rend and sear. 
from hardened hearts his people wept, tears to flood from stone unbroken, the long-forgotten truth unspoken. Yeah.